So the National Geotechnical Centrifuge Facility, or the NGCF as we call it, it's a vision. It's a vision to establish here in Australia state-of-the-art physical modeling facility to undertake world-class research in the field of geotechnical engineering. The Center for Offshore Foundation System, or COFS, established its first centrifuge over 25 years ago. With the NGCF, we are bringing together on over five Australian universities to deliver geotechnical modeling services to the research community and to industry. As I've travelled the world and participated in, in conferences or on other research programs, we've certainly seen the output from COFs far exceeds anything else that you see anywhere around the world. The amount of testing that can be done of high quality, um, reproducible and with great interaction with industry is, is unparalleled. So what we're doing here at the NTCF is we're, we're modelling processes that happen offshore. So we do that in a geotechnical centrifuge using a reduced scale model, much, much smaller than what then happens in, in the real world. So the reason that we spin the soil sample is that we're trying to create the same stress conditions in this sample as it would be in the, in the field. So if we spin this container at 100 times Earth's gravity, we're simulating the same conditions that you would have in a field condition that is 100 times larger. The reason we do this is so that we can better understand the behaviour of offshore geotechnical structures and the mechanical behaviour of the seabed. This provides us with a basis for making seabed infrastructure and foundations more efficient and reliable. The key advantage of the centrifuge for us is that we can scale time. So these processes in real life could take decades, but in the centrifuge we can scale that down to just a couple of days. The data is almost impossible to gather in real life. Uh, it's the lifetime of a researcher, whereas here it's very, very quick. We're developing motion control systems and data acquisition systems for centrifuge applications. It's challenging because the design of the devices has to withstand 200 times the Earth's gravity. So if you think about it as being at least 20 times what the human body can withstand. It's very exciting to tackle all sorts of problems that present from around the world. We take everything from shallow to deep water uh, and tackle problems from the oil and gas and marine renewable energy sectors. A lot of us actually have come from a long way to work here because this is the best centre to do research like this. The centrifuge allowed me to bring my research to another level really because I remember for my master thesis I was doing this on a computer, but then when I came here, I actually had the chance to observe physically the mechanism. For example, here in the, in the drum centrifuge, sliding half a footing, which is the footing I'm starting of a jack-up uh, platform. Uh, we were sliding this footing against the Perspec window, and I could really observe the failure mechanism of the soil, which is pretty, pretty amazing, I would say. Part of my role here at the NGCF is developing image analysis techniques and that includes both apparatus and the algorithms used to then interpret the movements within the images themselves. So when we're taking these measurements with the digital camera, the really nice thing about it is we can measure the displacements within the image to an accuracy of around a thousandth of a pixel, which is great because that means we can get very high resolution measurements of where the soil is moving and how it's deforming and we can then relate that to its engineering properties using back analysis. The team is crucial to this work and how we can respond to challenges and innovate permanently. We're only able to do what we do and be as nimble as we are because we have the team of highly uh, skilled technicians behind us who are in-house and uh, constantly available for us. All the experts are under one roof, so our models require state-of-the-art techniques to get the absolute best data possible. By getting all those experts together, we can accelerate our research so we can develop those techniques far quicker than on our own, and that way we can get the results we need to make a real impact. One of the most significant um, advances we made, which is, at the time was really quite unexpected, was the, the, the development of what we call full-flow penetrometers, the T-bar and the, and the spherical penetrometer, which we used very successfully in the lab to profile our soil samples. But when Fugro used it for the first time offshore for Woodside's Laminaria project and, and uh, Chevron's Gorgon project, that was the start of it being now 
used ubiquitously around the world and has changed the face of site investigation. Each year, the NGCF is undertaking between 35 and 50 research and industry projects. We are welcoming dozens of researchers, students and industry partners. We have numerous projects in development and we are very excited by the future of the NGCF. COFs and UWA have always been a head above anyone else when it comes to providing the level of support and service that you get out of a testing facility. I've learned so much, I've received so much experience and now I can really feel confident for my future. It's exciting and it's very challenging. <laughs> Uh, for me, the real advantage is seeing these new techniques come to life. So we, we start with a blank slate, and then over the course of a few months, we'll design the techniques, we'll get them together, and we'll actually see them working in real life. And that, that's fantastic. It's research, but it's physical, real research. <laughs>